Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the third installment in a series where I help my boyfriend declutter his home using the KonMari method. In this video, we are moving on to the second category, books. As you watch this video, leave a guess in the comments with how many books you think Tyler decluttered and how many you think are left in his collection. If you enjoy this video and are excited for the series, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next installment where we declutter Tyler's multiple bins of papers. With all that said, let's just jump right into the video. Toothpick wants to be in the video? <laughs> Hi, Toothpick. Hi. <laughs> Do you literally wear that dress in every video? <laughs> yes. So Tyler, it has been two weeks since you decluttered your clothes. How do you feel? Good. Good. Hello. It's been good. It's been good. I've been pleased with how easy it is to find things. I've been pleased at how easy it is to do laundry now. Easier to fold things with the condo method, and I try to be as precise as Heather. I always fall short, no. but I try. So I've only, there have only been a couple of things where I went, wait, where is that? Oh, yeah, I got rid of it. So uh, that's okay, that's okay. One of them honestly was the shirt I've had since junior high. <laughs> I wanted to wear it, and then realized I got rid of it, because it did not spark joy. So today, Today we're getting rid of books. Yes. And so... A lot of books. I, how do you feel about how your books are stored right now? I mean, how often, how often do you read? I mean, what are your goals for your books? I don't read as often as I would like. I spend... I read a lot uh, for my job and for... Just to stay informed, I read an awful lot of news coverage. I spend a lot of time clicking on the Washington Post or New York Times links. Uh, but I don't read for pleasure as much as I would like. So having my books in a little more accessible fashion would be helpful. I use books when I'm directing. I use, I have a lot of reference material. I mean, this, that entire shelf up there is Shakespeare. This entire bookshelf is Shakespeare and directing. Um, that's all art reference, that's all drama reference. That entire bookshelf there is almost all drama. Um, drama queen! Yes, drama. And there's a furry book. There is a furry book. That's Avenue Q. That's where my shirt from the last video came from. Are you what? Avenue Q. So, I think you're ready. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> to feel shame. I have amassed a collection that is significant. It's 
represents an investment of time. How many of these have you read? Some. I'm just gonna start reading. <laughs> Actually, that, that might be a cool thumbnail. How does this differ from two weeks ago in your emotions? Um, because I've already identified things I can get rid of. So I'm satisfying the uh, spirit of the brief. But also, I'm super proud of how many books I have. I love it. I'm proud of this. Okay. And Whereas two weeks ago, there was not. I was proud. I was not proud of how I had gained weight and couldn't wear those clothes anymore. But I have the potential to read all of these books and make use of them. So there is that. And yes, I know there are some redundancies. For instance, I have two copies of Pride and Prejudice, and no one needs more than one. I also have a copy of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, just in case. This is me. This is this is me in book form, and I I'm not ashamed of this. So um, we didn't do this with your clothes, but I think with books we should, because Hamari believes that books have or everything has an energy to it, and part of the Hamari method reason why she takes everything out of their storage areas is to help to wake them up. Mm -hmm. So what she does with books is just kind of like, yeah. Wake up. Come on, Come everybody. On. We got work to do to defend ourselves against these because invaders. you are going to hold the book and it, it, you need to know right Sparks away. Sparks joy. Sparks joy. My favorite president. Heather should read this book. Everybody should read this book. Everybody all right, is. all right, go, begin. Joy. doesn't look much different from the original pile, but this is the keep. Okay, in my defense, Planet of the Apes. That is the go pile, which is pretty good. Now, I figure we categorize and then put back. We dust the shelves and, and put back. So how do you feel about my idea about putting a tag or something? I like that. On... I do like that. I like that because there are books, uh, there are books I want to keep just because I always want to keep them. You know, all my Shakespeare's, I don't ever want to get rid of them. Most plays, I never want to get rid of them because I will revisit them over time or I'll find new use for them or I'll give them to people specifically. But, you know, some of the novels that I've just been carrying around for a while, 25 years uh those you know would be good to, to and then okay you guys we are at the point where we are categorizing what he has decided to keep so let me show you where we are in the process 
So we have books, not clothes, books all over the bed that we're still kind of sorting through. And then all of these on the floor that we have yet to sort through. But here we're kind of putting them in categories first. So we've taken this the mirror off the wall there because we're gonna put that bookshelf there. We moved these two off to the side so they're flush with the end of the wall. So that, I don't know, the, the plan is to eventually move the bed to be under the window. So we're, we're working our way there. But yeah, here we are categorizing. What are some of the categories, Tyler? American political thought, philosophy, data and miscellaneous, um, finance, finance, general theater, general plays, theater, plays, Shakespeare, but Shakespeare. within Shakespeare, there's Shakespeare plays and books on Shakespeare, uh, directing, directing what we're doing. And then we have, um, your to be, to read. be read and then classic novels to be read. This is where we are leaving off. So we moved the bookshelf. That bookshelf was over by the window. We moved it over here. The books on the floor are just gonna have to be put on shelves tomorrow because the struggle was real getting the <laughs> categories all on the same shelf. Um, and there's some overflow, which I, I should feel shame, but I don't. I appreciate the fact that we were able to get rid of so much and get so organized. And it's helped me realize just how much paper and sentimental crap I have. These are all reference books that are going to probably end up on one of those shelves or that little shelf. So there it is, empty corner. And then when this bed gets pushed to under the window, that other tall shelf is going to go here where this nightstand is. It's going to be a very cool little book corner. So I think I was expecting there to be less books. <laughs> Fewer. I could say less books. Okay. Okay, Ross. God, and okay. Ted combined. Yeah. I was expecting there to be fewer books than there were. So we've been at this for eight hours and Tyler's just gonna have to finish tomorrow uh, without me here. Apparently I'm on a one in two out policy from now on. If I want to buy a book, I have to get rid of two books. I've also been criticized today for not reading and that's fair. <laughs> I haven't read a book through in a little while. I've been busy. These bottom three shelves, the bottom one is obscured, but these I bottom three so shelves bottom are to be read novels only. It does not include to be read of uh, 
nonfiction, by the way, or plays. So I told him that in a year, most of these need to be read because we are going to reassess his book collection in a year. That's great. Super glad we're gonna be reassessing <laughs> my book collection in a year. <laughs> Margaret, do you want to be in the video? Yeah. So, Margaret, yeah. do you know what your dad was doing today? Do you remember what we talked about two weeks ago? I know time is a flat circle, and also you're four. I don't remember. So your dad just went through all of his books and decided which ones he wanted to keep, and he got rid of a bunch. Margaret, are you familiar with Sophie's Choice? <laughs> Are you gonna get rid of some of your books that don't spark joy? Yeah. I figured we can close out the video together, Margaret, because you've been asking all day to be in the video. So what I wanna say is to anyone who wants to do the Kunmari method on their house and they're very, what's the word? Crazy. Maybe you're intimidated by the amount of books you have. If Tyler can do it, if Tyler can do it, then you can do it. <laughs> okay, let's say like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yes. And give a thumbs up. Exactly. If you enjoyed this video, listen to Margaret. <laughs> like and subscribe. And we'll see you um, with papers. And I think when we do papers, we'll also have more of a, an after on the books too. So, oh, oh, also, oh, guess we're gonna count how many books Tyler kept and how many he got rid of. So guess in the comments what you think the numbers are. Yeah, rid of. This much. Five? Mm-hmm. Okay. Five bucks. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next yum, video. Yum, 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 Bye. Yum, 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 yum. I'm hungry. Boop. <laughs>